Hey, it's James from Free Electrical. On today's video, I'll answer the question of why my electric's tripping. Yeah, it can get pretty messy. Let's get into this. So yeah, I was being called out to a job then. So the customers had to go himself, just do the user end stuff, like unplugging sockets and basically his acid is tripping out. And we're gonna try and investigate why that is the case then. So he's unplugged everything, turned it on, it's still tripping. So it's nothing plugged in, he, he thinks it is. So what we're gonna do then is open up the circuits. I'm gonna show you how to fault find using a little multimeter. Let's get into this. All right, so you'll just need your multifunctional tester then, a few crocodile clips and you're basically ready to go. All right then, so here's the fuse board we're looking at then. So yeah, it's a dual RCD board then. So we'll have to look into both sides of this and then see what's going on. So with that left side tripping out then, we're gonna test this right side as well, but let's, uh, let's start on this side. So that's the board cover off then. So we've got a mixture of old and new cables. Uh, this is the side that's been tripping out then, so I've just turned them off and the, the RCD has reset. And then obviously this this is on anyway. Oh, we've got a crossover between this and this. And we turn that, that RCD on. So we could have a, a crossover between the actual circuits, which is interesting. So we'll come on to that in a bit later. But first of all, we want to check each circuit and see if we've got any um, earth leakage issues. So to test the circuit then, what we're going to do, obviously with those off, the MCBs off, it disconnects the line from all the other circuits. But if we take the neutral out as well we can just test that circuit obviously if you leave that neutral in all the other circuits will be connected to that so all we do then is just do earth to neutral on here and then do the line to earth and see what results we get there we go then so insulation resistance so this is testing in the millions so 117 that's super high and then same again about 80 meg so anything more than one generally Generally passes, and then because of that one RCD tripping deal there, what we're going to do is actually test from neutral to this neutral, and that'll that'll tell if it tell us if there's a crossover. So if you look there, then in the mega ohms, and anything over one mega again is fine. But from that neutral to this neutral, that's disconnected. We're getting nothing. If we do get like 0.00, it's probably one of these circuits is connected over here. So that circuit's clear then. So we'll just bob this back in and then move on to the next ones. Yeah, a little cheat then. So, obviously, make sure you're lighting, all your lights are on then, before you turn it off. So you've got all the loads on. So it could be something that when it powers up, it becomes an issue. So make sure you've got all them on. But yeah, you can go Earth with all these off and the RCD off, main switch off. Neutral is not connected to Earth. Obviously, over here, neutral is Earth. It's a TNCS or TNS. So with that main switch off, it disconnects that neutral to Earth link. So, we can test from the earth bar to neutral, so we should do that, there we go, so we get like 4 meg, which is well over 1, so there shouldn't be any issues here, if we test from earth to line, look at that, no point, no, no, so there's definitely an issue on one of these we've just pulled out, so obviously we've done this lighting one, let's move on to these other circuits, alright then, let's pull out the garage one then, so we need that neutral, so this looks like a 6 mil. that's doing that, so let's pop him out and we'll do him with give them a test then so again earth to neutral there 0, 0.00 so there's probably an issue in the garage let's just do to neutral bar and we're getting 20 meg so there's definitely an issue on that one there you know we'll still pull out the other cables and just make sure that they're all like greater than 200 or whatever like way like way high if there's any if there's any circuits that are quite low we'll take a note of that because we might need to look into that right, i've just tested all them circuits then so i'll pull the neutrals out so the newer cables are getting them greater than 200 so that means it's like a perfect reading so we shouldn't have any issues with those once we're doing the lines as well at the same time uh garage not but not not so we need to look into that and then water heater that was uh 80 meg so oh, 80, 88.8 and then the lighting was like 22 meg so it's way higher than one meg um obviously that the that could be just like a fitting or it could be the insulation itself breaking down um but we're not too worried about that we'll still test the other side then just to make sure there's no issues there um and then we'll look into the garage so what we're doing now is the rcd test then so with that not point no basically tie neutral to earth with that removed then we'll just make sure this rcd is tripping on time so I did a test before this and it wasn't testing as it should, but 
in fact it didn't test on one time at all uh, but now it is now that fault's removed so i think it was literally just blinding the icd just having that that link between neutral and earth after the icd so well, that's all sorted now so we're getting 44.3 so anything under 300 is fine 54 milliseconds so icd is working as it should now so if we just bob into the garage then and see what's going on with that so i will test the other side then last time here and then we'll bob out so let's get that on there press test then so it's going to do half time so that's half 30 milliseconds which is 15 and then it'll do one times which is 30 and then it'll do five times which is going to trip and it should, should trip a lot faster yeah it's tripping at 8.5 so to see your 30s 12.7 so that acid is fast as well then so if you go back to one times then so you've got 44.3 which is way under your 300 so the other test that I've, that I've mentioned is the ramp test then so bang this on this will start at zero milliamps and just keep rising 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 so it trips it only trips around 25 ish so 21 so it's a little bit lower but it's uh it's way under 30 milliseconds so that passes and again the last little test then is if i'm getting it is a clamp test so you can clamp around neutral the line of neutral so anything that is leaking this will tell you so it has to go around your line and neutral um, but if you look on there we are running at six milliamps so it's not going to trip <clears throat> so every everything like an appliance or anything just gives off a little bit of milliamp leakage now some appliances give off a lot when they get older and it'll just cause the rcd to trip but at that at five milliamps that's normal for a house right then so that's six mil then it goes into a little junction box there and then an armored cable comes around into all this so if you look there, it'll feel focused then, yeah. So you've got like an oldie world diffuse board. Loads of cables coming in and out. Not looking too great, is it? Like exposed live conductors there. You don't want to turn that on the way. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a bit of a DIY job. So you've got like random switches and old fittings. Like generally when the ballasts go, they end up going with a big bang. And you get like a not point not reading. You've got a cable coming over the top, going into this shed. But yeah, there's uh, stuff all over, really. Yeah, we've also got all this then. So we've got like a switch which looks like it's melted or oh, a bit of uv damage it's all like indoor cable run outside so you can imagine the insulation resistance or the insulation on the cables are broken really really down with the uv kind of hitting it all these years yeah so luckily the customer just wants this disconnecting then so actually that's the armored coming into this junction box so it's you can see it's been earthed which is great uh, but what we'll do then is if, if, well, if they want electrics in the future we can use this cable and bring it into a proper metal board and redo the electrics in here but as it stands it's knackered so as we've been down here then we've also found that we've got a project ev charger being installed so they haven't linked it to the network or anything like that so they're using it like a dump charger but all they've done is banged it on an ac rcd obviously that's in there so what happens is it will blind because that'll give off dc current in the actual cable which will blind the rcd obviously anything on the rcd like the lights and sockets won't be working properly uh, so we need to uh, recommend getting that onto a type a rcd which can take take that dc current essentially there we go then so just the cable running into that box we're going to retest it then so neutral to earth get the 200 great line to earth there we go 76 meg which is fine so it's well over one meg so there we go so we can bang that back in then and then if they ever want some power in the future in there we can use that cable that's that sorted then so just as a, as a quick one just to check so this is the oven the oven circuit was slightly high um i think it was about 20 meg or something so i've turned it on so so the element will expand and then obviously i've got the milliamp reader get, again clamp it over live neutral and see what we get so it's gone to like six milliamp so that's only given out like one milliamp or two milliamp so i think it's four before five this is fine but what we don't want to do is leave and then they and it trips again and then uh, we've got nothing to tell them but yeah if, if all these like greater than 200 we know they're fine but if there's like one that's down it's worth just looking into that uh, or you could see if that side ever trips in the future it's most likely going to be this because it was lower last time it looked so something like that just helps out the customer right all done then so that's everything back on then so just get a little little tester back in here make sure we've got those leads and that so yeah it was basically the the cable going to the garage which was faulty and then we saw some other dodgy bits then so the ev charger then like i said it was it's supposed to have a type a rcd on it which can handle six milliamps worth of dc current but yeah it was just banged straight on the ac rcd so it just blinded the rcd you see i checked with 
Project TV, went on technical just to, I just like to hear it out of the horse's mouth of the manufacturer that made it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we just advised that the customer then to go back to the people who just fitted it about eight weeks ago um, to get that RCD swapped out. Uh, you know what I mean, or even better, like a double pole RCB or something like that, mate. And it's totally separate then to everything else. So there we go. A nice bit of fault finding for you. Hopefully this has helped. Little recap then. So, so we you can either test the RCD first or the cabling first. It makes sense to do the cabling actually first because if there is a tire between neutral and earth, the RCD doesn't work properly, <clears throat> as we found out on this one. Neutral out for that circuit, MCBs off, RCD off. That disconnects the earth and neutral from the TNCS connection. So obviously as your cable comes in, earth, your earth is neutral on some uh, array earthing arrangements. Uh, so you wanna make sure they're separate. Uh, and then you test between line and earth and then neutral and earth. Oh, you saw the little cheat, didn't you? Where we clamped onto the earth of the actual earth bar and with the RCDs off, you can go earth bar to neutral bar for the RCD. And if it's creating the 200, that tests everything and you don't need to pop them all out. So that's a little cheat sheet for you. So from there then, that'll identify what circuit is bad. Once you've popped that out and everything else is testing good, pop them back in, RCD on, all your MCBs on, working as normal, and then go test your RCD. So you do a ramp test, so you'll start at zero milliamps and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to when it'll trip. On this one, the trip's about 21 milliamps, which is fine. Uh, it needs to be less than 30, obviously, because that's like the max. So that was that. And then you do a RCD time test. So you're making sure it's tripping uh, within 300 milliseconds, essentially, for one time. So that's what you're looking for. So there we go then. So once you've tested your RCD, then you've got to dive into your circuit then and uh, see what's going on. So in this case, it was the garage. Loads of stuff going on, going wrong with there, but luckily we didn't have to dive into it. She says, we don't use it. It's been off, but the neutral is still connected. And that's why it, it was tripping out. And we want it disconnected. So lucky for us, we just capped it off and then tested that cable again and it was tested perfectly fine. So hopefully that helps then if you're trying to fault find. Always get your tester out within five, 10 minutes, you've figured out what, what cable's the issue. And then the rest of the fault find is just diving into that circuit and either splitting it and trying to find out, out where it is. Or like this case, they didn't want it, we just capped it off. Hey, so I hope you like this kind of content then. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, have a good one from me and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, roasting. Still warm, still warm, summer is here. <laughs> Have a good one.